Hello everyone. So today the the presentation is just going to structure alignment. So structure alignment is just related with the protein structure alignment. But there are some concept which it's important that have to keep in mind. If you have to superimpose two structure a protein structure concerning here particularly the protein structure. If you have to just superimpose two structure, so one structure should be reference object and other object the other protein other structure should be transition or move or uh, rotation suppose if this is a one sub if one structure and if you would like to just uh, superimpose this structure you have to just transition this one or rotate as a rotation this one either in both fashion and ultimately you have to just superimpose in this fashion that it have to get minimum root mean square deviation i will in the next slide i will detail describe a brief but ultimately the distance and deviation is the minimum so that's the concept of the sequence or uh, sorry structure alignment and that's why we are have to just get about the similarity the measurement distance if one amino acid here and another amino acid here and this amino acid is related with um, some bind with other amino acids some for oh, this is a 236 amino acid some protein or something in a protein molecule 236 and suppose this one is a 236 of another protein molecule so if this is proline and this is a tryptophan so there is a different bulky group and there is a different bulky group so the distance is measured between them this may fluctuate because suppose it's proline and if this is a tryptophan and suppose it's a alpha carbon or beta carbon so distance between them and if this is a glycine so distance between them may vary definitely vary so the distance is fluctuated and suppose this proline and this proline but they also have to attach with some other residue and they also have to some other residue so different steric index and the fluctuation between these distance vary so the measured distance is important to get information about the what is the similarity in the next slide i will describe more information so here in the particular protein micromolecules the person have to work on the root mean square division so if one is one molecule here and another molecule is here so what is the distance suppose is this distance and all possible distance because these are fluctuated molecules so all possible distance you have to calculate and you have to just make mean of this distance and make mean of this distance and then just root mean square and the deviation then make have to deviation how may deviate so such type of different distance is just like a root mean square division that is a cumulative effect of the distance between one amino acid and another amino acid okay but the keep in mind that this amino acid should be better choice to be beta carbon not in the alpha carbon alpha carbon beta carbon as the thing so you will know but the beta carbon means the carbon start from the secondary side chain sorry side chain so when the best choice is beta carbon beta carbon it indicate the side chain and it it have a less possibility to variate less fluctuation it has possibility so better to use beta carbon okay suppose uh, here the, these are two molecule two peptides this is structure this is this is example and suppose two hemoglobin 133 amino atoms so ultimately both rmsd are the same because here also one one 1.38 and here also 1.38 so ultimately, but these five atoms look like a highly dissimilar, but 133 look like a similar. So that's why as the size increases, the root mean square give a more better information. So that's why, and suppose this is X, Y, Z axis, axis one, axis two, definitely is a X, Y, Z. And root mean square division is RMSD one, RMSD two, RMSD three. So these are division and they have to just cumulative effect. So that's why they will get a better information about the residue distance between two and and for interpreting rpa rmsd in the case of proteins if it's less than two it may have a possibility of a similar structure if zero so both are the same protein and uh, if it's uh, more than two and less than three so doubt interval and more than three so different structure for peptide in case 0 0.5 because it's small peptide a small structure so 0 0.5 or less than 0 0.6 are important for rmsd Suppose this is the 18 bar peptide 1 and a peptide 2. And if you would like to just uh, sequence alignment and structure alignment. 
So this is a suppose if you'd like to extract sequence alignment. So first 14 residues, second 14, third, four, third 14, fourth 14, and fifth 14. So these are the every 14th residue. But in the case, if you just go to the structure alignment, so in the case, the third one is a better than for it because RSD is 0.48 and in comparison to other, this is the less one. So we have to just select this third one and it will be just say that this is the best structure alignment. So we just select the, the, the third option is a third is a better one because it has the lowest RMSD value. Yeah, and here the fragment, this one, just an example, but ultimately we just say that third one is a better because it is the lowest RMSD value. And I hope I try my best to just get information about what are the structure alignment, what are the sequence alignment, but ultimately structure alignment, the thing important, the, the basic is that, uh, just consider about the root mean square division. What is the root mean square division? Why alpha carbon is not taken? Why beta carbon is taken? And the lowest RMSD is important because the lowest distance, so high cases of homology. And what are the threshold to just consider is the, what is the ideal protein? What is the different protein? So I try my best and uh, to just concise the information in a more pictorial manner. And definitely I will, uh, be happy to get your feedback. If you would like some questions, just text me. Thank you. Thank you very much.